In this video, I will demonstrate the use of the Generate Water Surface Data command to export a cross-section file that can be imported into the HECRAS program. In order to use this command, I need to have an existing surface. We'll view that here. This is the surface from which the cross-section data will be extracted. I need to have a horizontal alignment to serve as the center line of my channel. And I need to have four surface features representing the left bank, the left overbank, the right bank, and the right overbank. And you can see these. If I delete these out, We can redisplay those to demonstrate. We have the horizontal alignment here, and then the surface features that I have are left bank, left over bank, right bank, and right over bank. Now before we go into the command, you'll need to make sure that it, it has been enabled in the application add-ins. You can do that by going to Tools, Application Add-ins, and toggling on Hydrology and Hydraulics Add-in. Now the command will be located in Evaluation, Hydrology and Hydraulics, generate water surface data. Now we'll set up the criteria. We want to extract the cross sections from the surface original along the alignment baseline. We want to create cross section data in the HECRAS format. We can leave the IDs and the station units set at default. And then we will go out and select the four banks. Now before we do that, let's take a look at the source and decide what we want the source of the cross sections to be. We have three choices. We can either use a selection set. We can select the cross section source to all come from a certain level. So for example, if you had graphics all on a certain level, you could set that here and um, the cross sections would only be extracted along the graphic lines that were on that level. Lastly, you could select alignment and cut the cross sections at a certain interval along the alignment. So these two are pretty self-explanatory, but let's go back and use the selection set in this case so that I can demonstrate that. You actually have to have the selection set identified before entering the command. So I'm going to close out of the command and I'm going to graphically place some lines in my design file. And these are going to represent the cross section lines and the HECRAS cross section data will be extracted along these lines. As I said before entering the command, we need to place these in a selection set. Now we can enter back into the hydrology and hydraulics generate water surface data command. All of the other criteria is still set up correctly. We have the source set to selection set. So the last thing that we need to do is select the banks. So we'll select the left bank and the left over bank and the right bank and the right over bank. From here, I'll just click apply. I'm prompted to save the HECRAS geometry file. So I'll give that a name. and click Save. And the HECRAS file is written out into a format that can now be imported into HECRAS.